What's up guys? This is the Rothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, well, we've done pretty well and we've taken, we've knocked out the Cherokee Empire and we're ready to push on towards Louisiana. And I've spent all my money, so now it's time to end turn. All of my troops are currently... Actually, let's maybe not make you run straight for the next uh, city. But you men push forward to... To uh, regroup. And yeah, we're going to push on to New Orleans. Then we're probably going to push on and engage the Pueblo nations. And go to war with Georgia. Uh, but I turn in turn first because we have no money. And we can't do anything. So let's keep on cracking on. We're building up the new army in Spain. But in general, things in Europe are quite stable. We aren't super interested in shifting the balance of power that much. So we may just... Hmm. Well, I think it might be time to build up our forces for a reinvasion of India. I think that might be the best outcome. Let's reinvade Goa. Although I probably would like to have... Make sure I've got quick line before that happens. Mm, Russia's going for Berlin. Well, no, they've kind of gone north instead. I mean, if Russia makes it to our front lines, then we may have to start getting involved in the European war, but I really don't want to. We're doing really well at the minute. I don't want to I don't want to tip for that. We've got, got a lot of new American territories. We've got lots of buildings that need to be constructed. We've got lots of infrastructure and... And... Uh, <clears throat> trade good buildings that, that can be upgraded to expand our income so why annoy too many people 92,430 that's a nice amount of money right. farms that need upgrading because we must have got public servant dies while Mireles let's see if we can get a good one okay so let's replace our head of government yeah that's pretty good I'd like to replace my America's minister as well, because he's providing zero benefits. Okay, let's focus on getting some of this new industry up and running. Keep on running. Yeah, I'm soon burning through all that cash. I want to go down here and make sure that Chikasa has a new government building. Let's make sure your army's replenishing, your roads are being upgraded. So you men push on together. This chap is not going to go after Upper Louisiana itself. They're going to continue down towards New Orleans. Okay, the Iron Masters works. So priest, you're 100% Catholic. You're 100% Catholic. So you're Catholic. Yeah, you've got animism. And I think Charleston and Virginia... Uh, oh, Williamsburg are both um, Protestant. So let's make sure those are being upgraded. Okay, plenty of farms that can be upgraded. Fear not, territories. We will make sure that you have bountiful, bountiful wealth flowing to you in no time. Come on. Come on. So oh, I think York factories... Yeah, Churchill, the development slowed down a lot in Churchill. Probably just started taxing them. Although if I... Eh, it cuts 20-odd 20, 20 turns off. So keep doing that. Upgrade the government chambers here. Let's upgrade more of this industry. Yeah, you're pushing down south to join this force. As are these American mer mercenaries. 6,720. Upgrade the ordnance board here. So, yeah, I feel a bit bad that I've let my nation's capital fall behind. Contemporaries such as Madrid and Paris. So Paris at 30,000 a turn. 
Paris is at 30,010, growing at 180. London's at 27,000, growing at 176. I suppose once some of these new ports get built, that might start to uh, shift, potentially. Uh, some marks. You destroy you. You have no need for additional research capacity. Three turns till we get quicklime. So yeah, potentially we are going to build up our army for an invasion of India. Oh, good job picking him over here and check. We sent forces to go attack Ceylon. I mean, yeah, Goa is the one we want to take. And Goa is fortified. I mean, I'm going to auto-resolve that because that's just a non-battle, sadly. I can't actually repair anything. Let's get the port repaired first to try to get the plantations back up and running. And then spend whatever little cash we have left on replenishing whatever we can. 2,200, that's pretty good. It's tempting to rebuild Candy into a church school so then we can start to deploy a Catholic minister where we want to invade. Like I said, we want to invade in Goa. So you probably want a few armies to land there. And we're probably need to keep recruiting a load of troops in Ceylon. Colonial armies and so on. That could be could be quite interesting. But then we will be at, we'll start to be at war with the Marathas, so we need a lot more firepower across the board. I need to get a reasonable navy in there so I can start to hoover up their ships. Prussia's engaging the Dutch. They've also got the Russians on the east to the east, which is scary. Ottomans are Ottomaning. So let's see if Russia pushes on to... Ooh, Austria's taken Corlin by the looks of it. No p uh, counter offer, just peace. Peace as peers. No, I will never give up. Uh oh, yeah, they're going for Berlin. We're taking Breslau. I think Aust Austria's taken Corlin. Not Corlin. Oh, I might be just map shenanigans, but it looks like they've taken Corlin. Sweden, you got to figure out what you're going to do. They're offering an alliance. Oh, and their allies, their allies with Austria. I don't want to declare war on Austria. This makes our Indian holdings safer, and they're offering all of this. They're offering all in our favour. So yes. In invasion of India postponed. Oh, I need to build the government building in Valletta. But yes, the fact they are allies with Austria is quite significant because I do not want to fight Austria yet. Boris Shamilov. Let's see how well this raid does. Let's see if we can take him out. 6%. No, not worth it. Yuri Selimanov. I think Berlin might fall, so you need to get all of your troops back to protect the capital. Okay, let's minimise that. We need to build... Agreed. Make sure you're fully replenished. Make sure we get all these buildings upgraded. So let's get rid of the water power cloth mill. I do want to build a church school and get some more get some Catholic influence on the on the continent. Yeah, our armies are growing. Okay, so who do we want to potentially knock out then? So we're hostile against Spain. We can take Spain out. We're hostile against Russia. We can start a campaign against Russia. I mean, if they go for Berlin, I'm tempted to take it. Or try to. So let's recruit some infantry. Let's get... Get two units of fusiliers, two units of engineers, two units of Western European infantry, two units of mine infantry, and you've got one space left for one unit of. Actually, we're incredibly artillery heavy then. 
I might just want I might just get another regular infantry unit because we don't have very much we don't have any line infantry as is. So yeah, you're gonna go infantry heavy. Okay. You could knock out Georgia. Actually that that's yeah, that's a good way to that's a good way to do it, I think. Knock out Georgia. Well, declare war on the Pueblo Nations, knock out Georgia, then send troops to attack Georgia, capture it, but then hold it with maybe a... Well, no, actually, actually that gives us access to the Don. Do we invade... Do we take Georgia and then push on into Cherkask and Crimea and to do operations in the Black Sea? Intriguing. And you're well placed for such an adventure. Very interesting possibilities. So you're at full strength. Let's get the bones of another battle fleet recruited, but then immediately get back onto. Actually, have we got any government buildings that we've built? I've got upgraded roads. No, one turn effectively until they convert the until they convert the population of Georgia. Global trading company. Let's get a few farms upgraded. Okay, yeah, you're keeping the the call and the call and fleet bottle there. Oh, it is, it is calling. I can see on the map. Okay. Right. So new men all combine together. We Mr. De Albuquerque. And you push on to Upper Louisiana. You push on down towards Lower Louisiana. Can you leave Chikasa? Yeah, minus one's okay. That'll be gone next turn, so you're going to push as well to provide additional support. Pensacola is going to become a trade port, but we're just going to keep um, the small Louisiana fleet bottled up. Cool. Let's hit and turn. So in the Americas, once I've taken the continent, I'm going to want to keep two armies here as response armies. I'll have one in the north, and then one one in the north based in Boston, and then one in the south based in Venezuela, ready to respond to any enemy attacks. So Prussia's interesting. Oh, they're landing in... The Ottomans are back in the game. Landing in Rome to fight the the Austrians. That's an interesting, interesting development. They've also taken back Damascus. I think potentially if I do declare war on the Pueblo Nations and begin to fight Georgia, I will fight... I might invade Crimea first so I can fortify it and use it as a base of operations. Then, then uh, Crimea has got a quite a handily placed river to the north. I mean, yes, I'm going to have to fight this because they've got nothing. All of their infantry, apart from their Scots, are heavily, heavily depleted. So, yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have to take them out. Let's get cracking. Most of, most of the units were down in about the 20s and 30s. So those. So my artillery will likely not have much part to play. Gather my irregulars on the right. My foot artillery is just going to hunker down. My howitzers though. They can open fire. New men and the general are going to be on the left. Yeah, 
mean, look, you know, I don't care about any, anything they got. Get me how it says drop shells on the Royal. Oh, the Royal Escossais. I thought these were the Scots. They don't even have bayonets. They don't have plug bayonets. That's all good. I was hoping they'd fall back. Curious. I'll get you sound shenanigans. The actual engagement in the centre is just, yeah, unsurprisingly, pretty, pretty poor. So the the Royal Escape may cause. They may stand. Keep fighting, there's only one left, he's right in the middle. Well, my general's bodyguard and my other regiment, of course, ready to attack the other, well, the infantry units that are routing. But even though I'm getting a lot of friendly fire from artillery, ultimately, my. Cavalry here, I'm not super bothered about killing all their cavalry, because it depends how easily we can get them if they start to run. Like that, they're stuck in the middle of a bunch of our cavalry, so at that point we can take them out. There we go, now everyone else. Otherwise, these poor devils in my uh, skirmishes are in position. Do as they please. Everyone else is going to be engaging the general bodyguard. I don't mind if they do or don't kill him. Let's speed up time. Colonial militia. I mean, I want to kill the units first. It's the easiest way to do that possible would be great. I don't, I'm not even overly bothered about making sure I get the Royal Escasse, but now I'm going. Now I've got the units freed up. Let's stop the artillery from firing. You can attack this unit. You may have push on and attack them. Alright, then you can come over here and attack another unit of Royal Escasse. Things. These are foot guards, notionally. Keep on running. Although I suspect they are reasonably close to the edge of the map now, but we're still cutting a good number of them down. One regiment of, of uh, or one unit of the first regiment of foot, or one infantryman left. The other cavalry unit is still fighting. Oh, it's just the drummer. It's the drummer. All the people to have left over. It's the drummer. Sean. Oh, he's, no, no, he's making it. So then this unit should pathfind quite well now. There's lots of cavalry in the mix. Nice. So you still need one very, very, very weak force forward to try and stop us, but that didn't happen. Back to the capital you go, good sir. And now you are exposed. Is Venice going to attack the Ottoman fleet? They are. So their troops are aboard, there's no way home. Of 
recall and fleet is still bottled up, so all you can do is pirate that that uh, trade route there. Everything else is going to carry on as planned. Keep on upgrading. Down the line, I should probably look at fortifying Quebec. And then you men are ready to attack the capital. Which will be fine, because they're incredibly weak. And this is probably going to be something similar up to the north. Yeah, they are also quite weak. So let's check out our building. Let's make sure that's... Carrying on as planned, because we want to keep our... Oh. Yeah, this is going to burn through some cash. Some of our ports. We've had a few ports that have popped as... Oh no, maybe they're not. Oh, they're not. Probably not in the Americas, actually. Yeah, a few ports. Oh no, they're global trading companies. Clearances, yeah, lots of upgrades in the Americas are being done. So Augustine's getting new upgrades as a U. Chicasa's get is getting new roads. Oh no, they aren't. It's all pretty good. Still spying. Berlin still holds. Reinforcements are still carrying on in Europe. So let's drop some first rate ship of the line upgrades or recruitment. And then down here in Portsmouth, let's get these are fourths, so thirds are gonna be as high as we're gonna to want to go. With some fourths as well. Let's upgrade some of these farms. Well no, not actually no, let's not upgrade because we're gonna to need to keep some money, because we are going to destroy Louisiana this turn. Then the two armies to the south will take the Pueblo Nations. To be honest, they will then one no, both of them will go attack the Pueblo Nations. Always be wary of native troops. Um I've I've learned that lesson many a time that you think, eh, they're only native troops, what's the harm? But then actually you fight them and suddenly it's like, oh no. They've torn the arse out of my army. That's not great at all. So let's have a look at our American mercenaries. Yeah, they look pretty good to me. I assume they have no bayonets, but they'll fight with hatchets. Should things devolve to, to melee combat. Combine our cavalry on the left. We have a good look at our household cavalry. I think it's the first time we've had a chance to put them in the field. They look pretty sweet. Our militia. Militia on the right. Irregulars on the right. We have one howitzer who will play a round shot. Storm to the top of this hill. Some colonial light cavalry, don't care. Yeah, so my foot artillery is back here, firing away. Do whatever you you know what do whatever you like, Colonial Light Cavalry. I'm not even gonna give everyone, anyone any orders. Playing calm. Hmm. 
pushing up. Keep pushing up everyone else. I mean, if the... Well, I'll bring my general over here. He'll fight the... Fight the enemy. The musket battle's been started. They're engaging cavalry because they're not using their advanced firing drills. And the light cavalry's observed my general. Oh, excellent volley into the light horse. You were going to go on for the guns, or wanted to. The general's bodyguard will see them off. But ultimately, the end. They're done for. They are so done. Overall, I find it rather reassuring that the AI can get itself into a position where it can't support any... It can recruit large armies, but it can't support any of them. So it means that there is still a point to have like, economic warfare in these games. Because Louisiana, they couldn't support all those standing armies. So have they got any hidden troops? Native troops? Ah, the Light Cavalry. Charge onward, men! And then native regular musketmen. Bring up my militia. Are those, yeah, those men are done. Engage the twelfth light horse. It's safe to say they will not last very long. It's the fellows in green that we don't like. No, they killed. Ah, oh, these are my light cavalry. My household cavalry have done. They haven't lost a man. Oh, the native musketmen came back for a while, but then they retreated. Excellent. That's one territory secured. That's northern Louisiana dealt with. Now it's on to southern Louisiana. So let's repair the government building. Let's replenish our troops. Farms. Let's get rid of the communal farming. In terms of roads, we're doing not terrible. But you men are going to attack New Orleans capital where Theodore's hiding out. Let's go get him. Well, this would be, yeah, this would be Louisiana destroyed. We have the Pueblo Nations to our west. We have two armies sat there ready and waiting. So then they'll take out the Pueblo Nations, drive north to the Plains Nations. Another army will go around and attack the Inuit. And that will be America secured. We'll have the resources and firepower of an entire continent at our disposal. Oops, don't want to get my regular infantry into the line. We are going to push around the right flank. Anchor our left against the town in the centre. Quite a bold scheme of maneuver. Charging my cavalry forward to intercept the light horse. There goes one set of there goes one set of artillery. Make my mortars engage other targets. Yeah, I'm happy for I'm happy for them to draw off my, all of my cavalry, which means that these guys can't attack my light the light infantry on my flank.
So new men push forward. Make ready and fire. I don't know why I started doing this. Push forward. Keep my light infantry in the mix as well. Cavalry defeated their cavalry. And they are shattered. Yeah, lost a lot of men to the artillery. And here comes the militia. Counter charge. Push forward. Wait a minute. Ah! Meanies. Oh well. Push forward. Keep on pushing. The men advanced. Charge forward. Attack the guns. Attack the enemy line. Yes! See, you only routed my gunners. Except for one, one unit. Okay, push forward through through the line infantry into the armed citizenry. Push forward. Push my skirmishes out. Excellent. I'm fighting this regiment of militia. Oh, it says aim at Theodore. Like all of our guns are being mounted, being utilized as well. Excellent. Excellent shots. Go on, infantry, push forward. Push on the tank, feel the regiment. No, Theodore, no. Theodore may become our prisoner. Looks, it looks like everyone else has routed. Yep, Theodore's going to flee the battle, so we're not going to kill him. But unfortunately, well, or fortunately, he will be, he will have to retreat quietly into the wilderness and live as a citizen of a Portuguese territory. Nice. Okay, let's get some roads built and upgrade this farm and this farm. Nice. Okay. So yeah, these two armies can go after these two territories. Push north to take out Yankton. These armies, when they recover, one of them is going to go after the Inuit. Then that will be everybody dealt with in the Americas, which is quite sweet. One more turn to get quickline, one more turn to get steampunk to land drainage. Probably want to get you on to interchangeable parts afterwards to get all of our upkeep reduced across the board. Excellent. Oh, the Ottomans have been repulsed. That's an entire army destroyed in one fell swoop right there. The Dutch are going to not repulse the Prussians. Prussia has taken Hanover. Are you going to defend yourself against Russia now? Or are you going to let them take your capital? Very curious. Oh, Berlin's done. Yeah, there we go. Berlin now has has the Russian Imperial Eagle flying over it, rather than the Prussian Imperial Eagle, I suppose. Oh, there goes Dresden. 
I think pressure is going to be out for the count. I mean, if they push up to our front line and start attacking the Dutch, that's when I'll take issue with it. They're demanding all that technology, including fly-by rank. No, sir. Peace or nothing. Nope. Do not act like you have superiority over me, Russia, because you don't. You do not, and I will sail into the Black Sea and take Crimea off of you to demonstrate that fact exactly. Venice is engaging. Right. It's a quick climb, gone to diamond formation. Steampunk land range has gone to threshing machine, so. You don't go on to diamond formation. You go on to. Maybe light infantry doctrine? Or maybe far in advance. Plus one to training level for infantry units is quite quite good. Oh, that's the wrong, the wrong one. Solomon, in your lanes, get on with interchangeable parts. Evora is carrying on with the abolition of slavery. Yeah, that's fine. Keep on upgrading our empire, especially these that are top tier. Projects. Our global trading company, don't need you. Savannah. Can you men make for the coast? Here in Mobile, let's get two sloops. You men embark. Uh, Great states. Let's keep upgrading. Government chambers in Brussels, Antwerp can be maxed out. Yeah, lots of these farms have not yet reached max level. My workshop in New France is done. We'll make sure there's many of these farms are upgraded as possible because otherwise it's very easy to kind of forget about them. I mean, they're not as critical to upgrade now because we've got we've not really got the uh, lots of the towns are now developed, so we haven't got to. There's no massive rush to spur development of growth of new towns, at least generally. Obviously, not all of them, but compared to the late game. Can you even leave up Louisiana? You can. Let's push up to Pennsylvania. We're going to upgrade our military recruitment. You're recruiting three more units. We don't need another dry dock. on maxing out okay i think london's gonna want military upgrades because we're gonna probably gonna start recruiting more armies to uh to, to keep pushing because i suppose russia is at war with oh they're not at war with the dutch they're trading with the dutch this makes me uncomfortable because it gives them a poor access to the north sea but i think i will block that Prussians have taken Gdansk, and that's a bold move. Okay, 5,300. Can't do much in terms of boosting my big fleet, but I can get some steamships. Yeah, why not? Get two steamships. So you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready. You're providing a bit of extra 
infantry support to the garrison of Strasbourg. MLGS conversion into your second stop. I can stop exempting you from tax. I can get you to pay your way now. Blet is doing good. We've got a good port. So when the time comes, we can push against Crimea. Well, I suppose, to be honest, that can probably be now. So let's do this on the map. So you're going to declare war on the Pueblo nations. You're not going to call in any of our allies because you don't want to give them a reason to say no. That means Georgia will probably... I think Georgia has to join them because they're a protectorate. Hold on to that for now. You push up towards Santa Fe. And let's get our big hitter navy just to knock out some... We're not going to fight them because they're just a bunch of fifth rates and sixth rates. Yeah, they're nothing. We're not going to claim any into our service. We're going to take the cash. And it's going to be the same over here against you guys. Kaplunk. We're not going to call anyone into service. Chase them down. There you go. Mr. Sousa's knocked them out. So go back into Valletta. And for repairs, this fleet's incredibly, incredibly experienced. And as an admiral, he is top tier. Only at 38 as well. Okay, so that's Georgia attacked. So you men are going to attack garrison here at Texas. We don't have any money to do much about it, we can't do any repairs, we can't do any replenishment, but we may as well go for it because the the, uh, the territory is fairly weak and the sooner it falls in our hands the sooner we can begin converting the population to our way of life. Guns, maybe you might stay up on the hill where you are. Although you will likely be fire it will off until we move our troops ahead of you. Let's keep these bow units behind my behind my uh, militia because they probably need a bit more help and you've got quick line now which is pretty tasty especially when you kind of think you know pull all them to push my cavalry up on the flanks and my foot artillery you may burn powder gentlemen I'm instead going to get you to hit the chief's bodyguard I'm going to disregard my orders completely as is tradition so you've got one garrison bowman unit on the flank hiding. You're right, let's not do that. Let's pull you guys back. Go for the bowman. Oh, it's his attack ground quick climb ahead of you. We're going to start pushing our new men across here. Cavalry, get back over to the other side. Are 
You men push on and attack the native warriors. Get the general over here. Okay, so we need to start. Yeah, we need to start picking off these units on the flank pretty rapidly. So you've managed to repel them. You men push around the rear for the warrior society. Charge my cavalry ahead to pursue and destroy routing units. You men get away from the warrior society. Yeah, these, these, the job of these men is to pursue and destroy routing troops. So you men push up, form up a new front. You men. I mean, they're only bowmen. How it says engage. With round shot, this warrior society unit. Keep my cavalry mobile. Actually, to be honest, chase down the enemy units that are routing. The light cavalry's gone in. Keep attacking to make sure they do not come back. You men fall upon that unit of bowmen. Hey, there's more bowmen. Let's bring some colonial cavalry. We'll bring some of this cavalry back. I mean, these bowmen are just completely surrounded, so... Excellent. Push forward. We have lots of routing men here. The chief coming back, it is the chief coming back, so re engage them with my artillery. Everyone's routing back here. My bowmen haven't had a chance to get into the fight. Okay, how it's quick line the warrior society, my guns engage the chief's bodyguard. Pull my cavalry back because the chief is trying to engage. Now it's only the warrior society that's left, and they're going to take the brunt of all of the firepower because there is no one else to engage. There they go. Break off attack indeed. Whew. That was a bit dodgy at the start, but we soon evened it out. Excellent. Sorry, Cochise. Destroy the meeting hall, and then they've got Commuter Farmland, which we're going to destroy. Cotton Plantation, we can upgrade ourselves. Replenish what you can. Yeah, then you can go up to Santa Fe. Do the same again. How goes conversion of Savannah? It goes well. Up to Charleston. Let's convert the population there. Then it's Virginia, Annapolis, Philadelphia. And then once you get to Philadelphia, you have to go all the way over here to the old Yankton and back down here again. Okie dokie, let's hit and turn. Okay, yeah, United Provinces are scrambling to try and figure out what they're going to do. They had a brief period of expansion, but Prussia, rather than fighting against Russia in the east, they've just, <clears throat> well, they've made the decision where they're going to effectively withdraw to Hanover and then maybe keep going. Eventually, though, Russia will squeeze them. See? Yep. There goes Hanover. There goes Gdansk. Okay, we may invade Hanover. We cannot allow Russia 
to extend this far west. We may look at attacking the Russian Navy. Shatter them while they're at sea. Oh no, not a single unit of my ships. Go get them, fifth rate. <laughs> they took out two of them. Oh, actually, the Corlin Navy would get involved as well. Unfortunate. A couple of ships that would be worth capturing. Two second rates and a third rate. A bunch of forts for you. But let's re let's fortify London. Teus Pinto. Embark aboard the sloop. The new men will put Hanover to the sword. Hold for now. I just want to see what this what the situation is. Let's crew another sloop, and in London, just knock up some more infantry. Fleet destroyed. I mean, that's one fifth rate. That's a bit of a grandiose term. Let's recruit. Oh, I don't want a pikeman or I don't. Want to, I want to recruit chaff militia. That's what I want to recruit. Okay, let's recruit some African native infantry to garrison tuners, backed up by some Cairo infantry guard. Okay, let's recruit a light galley to garrison Marshall slot because then this this navy will fight will fight their way through the Dardanelles and land in Crimea. So yeah, that that river crossing here is nice to defend. It will give Russia cause for concern. Let's take one of our more of our spies and push them east. Because notionally, Amsterdam is one of our allies. The Dutch are an ally. First of all, let's do some of our slightly tedious but very much required upgrading. Which means lots of this stuff appears to have not been upgraded before. Okay, then this army, we're in no rush to redeploy these troops. Just get them up to the center of our empire a bit more sprightly. Okay. Everyone else is on the move. Nation destroyed of Prussia. Prussia's gone. He's dead, Jim. Oh yeah, we've got this. So this is what's going to cause our money to disappear. Grading all these to top of the line trading ports. It's very much worth doing. You see, yeah, we could we could move them by ship, but I'm not fussed about getting things done. At max efficiency. You've not built up the plantations to the south. Oops, I clicked onto my other monitor. My mistake. Excellent. So we recruited. An army. I do want to go for Crimea. Although I suppose, in theory, oh, you can't get there this turn anyway. Could have done it this way, I suppose, but whatever. So let's go to Sandy Bay. Let's recruit a second rate ship of the line. 
We have one Crimea. We can start to attack Georgia. Okay, Crimea would be good. Push on and take the Don. That will start to cause some issues for the Russians. And then what we're going to do, take this army and attack Hanover. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the first engagement of Russian forces on the land. Actually, I don't think we've... We might have we fought them in sea yet? I don't remember. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.